Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be shedding light on the ample challenges appertaining to becoming successful as a registered dietitian nutritionist. So what are they you may ask? Without further ado, without further delay, allow me to demystify that answer to that inquiry right here, right now. First and foremost, one broad dick nagging challenge entails growing a behemoth of a registered dietitian nutritionist brand. How will you foster strong brand loyalty? How will you attain substantial brand recognition? How will you attain robust brand equity? How will you cultivate brand growth? Will you organically produce a copious amount of educational videos? Or will you inorganically, profusely market your service offerings? These overarching inquiries need to be addressed, especially if you want to make inroads towards becoming successful as a registered dietitian nutritionist in a highly competitive registered dietitian nutritionist services market. The second challenge is ascertaining optimal meal plans. How will you ascertain optimal meal plans that are optimally tailored to suit your client's particular needs? There are a copious amount of factors that need to be taken heed of, to say the least. Do your clients have any allergies? Do your clients have any subpar nutrient levels? Do your clients have any nutrient deficiencies? Do your clients have a healthy BMI? Are your clients lethargic? Do your clients have any intolerances to certain foods? Do your clients have any sensitivities? How often can your clients eat? What is the optimal meal frequency for them? Are your clients interested in embracing intermittent fasting to avail themselves of the health benefits appertaining to embracing intermittent fasting? What is another challenge you may ask? Well, another challenge encompasses the challenge of outperforming other registered dietitian nutritionists. How will your services Eclipse theirs. How will your services trump theirs? Why would clients perceive your services to be more meritorious, more worthwhile relative to the services of other registered dietitian nutritionists? Will you be able to best your competitors? How will you distinguish yourself from your competitors? What gives you the competitive advantage over your competitors? Why should a client procure your service offerings in lieu of a competitor's services offerings? How are you going to outperform them? How are you going to become far more adept, knowledgeable, and competent than your competitors. What is another challenge you may ask? Well, another challenge entails winning over more clients and growing your market share in a highly competitive registered dietitian nutritionist services market. How will you win over more clients? How will you attain more client referrals? How will you efficaciously market your service offerings? How will you not stagnate? How will you not regress? How will you remain highly competitive when more competitor brands are inducted into the registered dietitian nutritionist services market. As the market becomes all the more overly saturated, it becomes all the more cumbersome to attain market share, let alone maintain your foothold in the registered dietitian nutritionist services market. Another challenge entails differentiating yourself from competitor brands how will you 
immensely distinguish yourself from competitor brands. What will you do to stand out among the crowd, per se, metaphorically speaking? What will you do to entice clients to procure your service offerings? How will you render your services recommendation-worthy, indelible, stellar, and meritorious? So, you should do your utmost best to surmount any impending challenges that you're slated to encounter as a registered dietitian nutritionist. You do not want your plans to be desultory. You could always refine your plans over time. If they yield unfruitful results, then you can make refinements. You could fine tune your plans so that they can elicit better outcomes. You want to be able to stretch your marketing dollars far. You do not want to needlessly squander marketing dollars. You want to be able to remain highly knowledgeable, highly competent, and highly adept as a registered dietitian nutritionist. You want to be able to organically produce a copious amount of educational videos and educational articles as a registered dietitian nutritionist. You could also contribute to a blog, a podcast for registered dietitian nutritionists. You have a multitude of options to make inroads towards becoming highly successful as a registered dietitian nutritionist and the challenges that may seem to be insurmountable can presumably be surmounted and overcome if you remain keen on overcoming them in spite of the ineffable difficulties that may lie ahead. It's always possible to grow your market share in the registered dietitian nutritionist services market. If you can outperform your competitors, if you could attain more client referrals, and if you become the quintessential registered dietitian nutritionist, then you're more apt to be highly successful in the registered dietitian nutritionist market. I hope that you deem this video to be insightful and enthralling. Have a blissful day. Goodbye.